All right guys, so today we're gonna to be talking about our portfolio uh, that we do every single week. For today's video, I wanna do something a little bit different. We've done it before where we talk about concepts. I'm actually leaving to go to London uh, on Saturday and I'll be gone for the whole week and so I'm gonna be kind of detached from what's going on in crypto. And that's very important because right now, everybody feels like we're getting bullish right now, right? We have, we, we got up almost to 22,000 or uh, almost to uh, $21,000 felt good. People are saying the bottom is in. Other people are saying like, oh, this is actually the relief rally that we need in order to get the bottom. But this is very pivotal. We have to think about these things when we're factoring in our portfolio decisions. Last week, we made a move and we pushed some of our undeployed capital over to some different coins in all of our portfolios. And I think that was really, really, really important to do. But the idea is that we deployed last week and things feel a little bullish this week. And so we're not gonna deploy any right now. And the reason is every bear cycle for Bitcoin, we've seen it pump into the midterms and then dump after. Right now, there's really no reason for us to expect anything different based on the history. Now you could certainly say, oh, well the macro is different, yada, yada, yada. But based on the history of the four year cycles, we should still potentially see that in my opinion. One thing that you guys have to get you know, through your heads is patience. You have to be patient. People are, are telling me, man, don't you know the bottom is in right now? Don't you know that we're going bullish? No, I don't know that because we've seen this play out before time and time and time again. So right now with our capital, we want to make sure if we're going to be going into a bullish market and we have hit the bottom, we're going to want to make sure that it really is breaking out. At this point, I don't want to put any more in to anything until we break probably twenty-five dollars to $26,000 because I still believe that we're going to be moving down. So I'm going to be a little detached from crypto, but I've already told the team here, unless Bitcoin bottoms tomorrow or while I'm gone, we're not going to deploy any more capital uh, because people get antsy. People start to get FOMO. They start to imagine if we did go really bullish, man, I want to get in at these prices. Well, you weren't thinking that two months ago, right? Uh, three months ago, you weren't thinking that, but all of a sudden a little bullish action and people are really now anticipating like, man, it's time, it's go time. It could be, it might be, it's potential, but it most likely based on history is not. And I really encourage you guys when you are looking at a scenario playing out in crypto and you've done research and you think you've got a good handle on what it might possibly look like, don't do something stupid. And as soon as one candle hits, do the opposite of what you were planning to do. And that hit us big time. And, and what I mean by that is, uh, you know, based on our four year cycles for two and a half years, I told people that Bitcoin would top September 28th. These dates are arbitrary. Just think of them as ranges, uh, 2021. And the market would top in between Halloween and Thanksgiving 2021, right? So that would be the, the total top. Well, we missed over here on this because we weren't anticipating the top for Bitcoin actually being also the exact top of the market in November. And we nailed the range, but what happened? Started hearing this 100K number, everybody's talking 100K, expecting 100K, Plan B's expecting 100K, uh, you know, Mr. X is expecting 100K, everybody's expecting 100K. And what happened is, is we got so obsessed with this number that we went away from our research and we would have nailed it exactly. And so you've got to lean on your research and your instincts and don't let the feeling of some candles or to miss opportunities change the way you're looking at the market. You can also say, you know, when Bitcoin went below 38K, I told everybody on the channel, sell, if it goes below 38K, man, it's going to go down much further. People were like, you're tripping, you're tripping. The reality was this would have been the smartest thing we could have done outside of if we had taken the profits at the top because you see where it is now. But I didn't trust my instincts enough. I felt the FOMO and the emotions of not hitting the 100K. And I said, man, maybe it'll come back up. If I just would have listened with my head and been patient and done what I knew to do and had said were the right things to do, there were plenty of people in the bit squad that took the profits uh, at 38K. Congratulations if you did it when I told you to do it, but we didn't do it. 
And that's one of my biggest regrets. So hope what you guys take away from this video when it comes to your portfolios. You need to get your own research methods. You need to stick to what you believe until you are invalidated. If Bitcoin goes up to probably 26K, I would say the bottom was definitely in. And I would say that, um, you know, the idea that it's going to 10 to 14K, at that point, it's invalidated. Don't let a little bit of information or a quick change get you away from what you've studied and researched to be correct. Until it's invalidated, don't make moves. And so that's where we're at. Last week, we deployed capital to hedge. This week and going forward, now we're being patient and we're gonna wait for that bottom. And of course, I am dollar cost averaging and Ethereum and Cardano on our crypto.com portfolio. Um, and that's okay, but you just don't wanna make sudden moves. Um, one thing, ISO 2022 portfolio, I wanna know your guys' thoughts. We've came across two coins that could be compliant possibly. Uh, they fit the bill, Casper and DAG. We've got some videos coming out about those projects. I wanna know if you guys think we should pack those into the ISO 2022 portfolio. All right guys, I'll see you when I get back from London. It's all that, be blessed, big boy out.